Hi, I'm Michael Roberts, and welcome to another edition of Stage Door Chicago. I'm outside the Drury Lane Water Tower Theater, where a fabulous new production of Alter Boys is opening October 7th. Come inside with me as I interview all five of the Alter Boys. Hello, boys. Yeah. So we're going to do an Ultra Boys roll call. Oh. Let's start from the back. We have Tyler McGee. Playing Luke. Um, our favorite Jew, Nick Farina. Yes, yes. I'm playing yes. Abraham. Yes. And then we have the sensitive one, Brian Crum. Mark. <laughs> sensitive indeed. Sensitive very. And then Matthew Wright. Yes. As we have Devin. Devin. DeSantis. That's right. And my favorite Buffalo boy, Adam. Hi. I'm playing Juan. So tell us um, about your characters. Let's start with the sensitive one, um, Mark. I'm playing Mark. Yes. He's the youngest of the group. Oh, the baby. Um, the baby, if you mm -hmm. will. Um, and yeah, he's he's the sensitive, shy one who gets his moment to be a diva in the show. So. Kind of a dream girls. Definitely. -like yeah. Can, yeah, can it's good times. You, you do the arm, don't you? You gotta love a little, me. A little taste. A little <laughs> taste. <laughs> yeah. And Matthew, you're the almost the Matthew. Devin, Matthew. you're like the That's lead whatever. of the it like works. the lead of the ultra boys. The quote unquote leader of the you group. You are. You're the Messiah, yes. sort of. Oh, wow. Never heard that <laughs> before. It, it, it is. Messiah, there you go. Sure. You're like the Ted Neely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? I hold yeah. all these crazies together. What's the rehearsal process been like? <clears throat> long. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Grueling. It's been pretty long. It was we. It was kind of like hurry up and wait. Like we learned the show in four days, and then we rehearsed for. <laughs> we had a couple weeks of yeah. like All right, that's... of cleaning it up, and we've just yeah, been for a bit. kind of just working our butts off during previews during the day. We're ready to open. Yeah, you yes. are. We're ready so, to go. So where are each of you from? Up in uh, Northern California. And we're in Northern California. San Jose. Uh, Did you? <laughs> I'm from New York, but you are. I'm originally from Ohio, where the Alter Boys actually come from. The Alter Boys did start in Ohio. Yes. Yeah. Well, we're from Ohio. Group. What a uh, that, Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, the group. Yeah. Right. The group is the from Ohio. Right. right. And okay, Adam, <laughs> Buffalo boy. Yeah, I'm from Buffalo. Yes. Orchard Park. Um, and I live in New York. And Devin. I am from Chicago, originally from Colorado. Yeah. Right out of Denver. So you're one of the only local boys. Yeah. Percent. And uh, I'm originally from San Diego, but came uh -oh. to Chicago from New York. So how did you hear about Alter Boys, and how did you all end up here in Chicago? What was your road? What was your road to salvation? I was living in New York doing um, a show called Wicked, and never heard of it. You've never heard of it? Yeah, no. this is a little show. And I had auditioned for Stafford a couple times before I started Wicked, and so he called me and said, "We're doing this Chicago thing, and would you come in and sing for the producer?" So I came in, and sang, and got my call a couple weeks later. That was your calling. You got your my calling. Call, my calling. Oh. What about you, Dad? Um, mine was, I was just here in Chicago. I had a, a friend who had done one of the other altar boys. I'm not pointing at him. I'm just saying. <laughs> and so uh, I, I heard, heard about it through him. Just came an audition. It was just a couple of days. It was very random. I did altar boys in Long Beach. I did a, a regional production there. And, um, that was, and that was the first regional production. Yeah, it was the first regional. And um, our producer asked me to travel uh, mm -hmm. to Chicago cool. so that um, Stafford could um, could see me. And then here I am. Here it. And here we I keep talking about Stafford. Stafford. Who, Stafford. The director. Would be. Stafford. Stafford, Arima, Stafford the director. Arima. He's Canadian. Oh, Just well, throw well that you out said there. Stafford because there's Stafford at Avon. Right. Yes. Which is a theater up there. So it is. You said Stafford. Right. My, but my, Stafford Arima, my, the director. Arima. Yeah. And I was actually doing Forbidden Broadway in town here in Chicago. And SVU? Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. While I was here in Chicago, I heard they were having auditions for Alter Boys, so I came in. So tell us, tell us about Alter Boys. What, what is the show about? Um, tell us about the DX12. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, somebody Who wants to take, take it, it away. I'll do it. Go ahead. Give <laughs> speech. Well, the Soul Sensor DX12 mm -hmm. um, is, is a device that... Uh, 
takes the metaphysical temperature of the room <laughs> and uh, it just tells us how many um, souls are weighed down with sin in the audience. And our job in the show is to cleanse those souls and make oh. everybody feel, sweet pop feel lighter through life. sweet pop music. Sweet. And funk and, 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 funk and music. Music. Yes. Mm-hmm. And how many souls are saved a night usually? Every, 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 every single is. one. But I mean, but it varies, like yeah. the audience size. But we get down to zero if it's the last thing we do. Yeah. Wow. And actually, people write confessions before they come in, and, and you actually. Right. What's the most screwed up confession that you've seen? The oddest was somebody going on about how they um, uh, dr- drink orange juice with cereal, and that was a sin. Uh, it confused yeah. the heck oh, out of me. Stop you. Yeah. So, uh, that was yeah. his confession. Oddest. Well, that's pretty bad. Okay, fine. Yeah. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> cereal. I mix it. Yeah. No milk. Well, and Ultra Boys is about when well, you're a boy band. Yes. And who sings for a greater power. Mm-hmm. Yes. And you're touring across the country mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. trying to save as many souls as you can. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. so, a good time. Yeah. And, and you guys have some pretty kick ass dance moves, too. We do. It's a little crazy. Every now and yeah. again. Yeah. Compliments of I think we've all dropped a few pounds exactly. since we started yeah. rehearsals. Sure. Yeah, sure. compliments of Chris Catelli, Chris Catelli our, our wonderful choreographer. Wow. Well, and Lou, Lou, Lou Castro, Lou Castro who set our show. Well, and, and I heard that the voice of God is going to be the great Roy Mr. Roy, Roy Leonard. Leonard. Yes. yes. Who yes. is a doll. He came and hung out with us one day at rehearsal, and just yeah. we just talked for an Drops hour. Wisdom just, on us. He's a great yeah. guy. He's so cool. So how has it been working together? Awful. <laughs> <laughs> we all get along. It's been great, great. except for yeah. one of us. Every but day. Wow. We get along pretty well. We yeah. we from from the beginning we've been well, you know, pretty yeah, tight. Yeah, I think our scuffles here and there. Pretty we're nice. We're in the van every day, going to rehearsal. We had to rehearse outside of the in city, work, yeah. so uh, in Egypt. They gave us a van, so we had to. Drive together to and from we rehearsal every day. In oh, wow. the altar boys' van. For Lots like of an hour. In the altar. Yeah. shotgun. Who gets to sit in front? Who gets to sit <laughs> in the captain's chairs? Who gets to sit in back? Who drove? I drove. I think I was good. You did good job. But I think about it the other day. I don't think I could do this show the same without these guys. I mean, I could do it again, but it would definitely be weird and not the same experience to do it with. Without these, because they've all kind of become a it's family. It's weird because both of us, Tyler and I, have both done the show before, and it mm-hmm. is. It's very different from cast to cast, and it's kind of it's just different adjusting it's to different bad. people. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's different. Well, and I, I was talking to the producer before the interview, and he was telling me how the show has really kicked up a notch here, you know, and things like the stuff. These are a little bigger, is, things yeah. a little more change really like exciting to it. A rock concert every night. Yeah, it's pretty right. crazy. Yeah. Well, and the show has such a great following. I mean, oh, the yeah. fans are, are legendary, and it just yeah. keeps the show going. It's such a totally. great show to do, and you come out, and everybody's screaming, like, right at the top of the show. Yeah, so yeah. walk down the ramp, and we have people screaming already. It's really right. nice. And I think, I, I'm sure everyone else, too, but I've gotten so many, like, Facebook emails and MySpace emails from people who saw the show and yeah. just loved it. And yeah, thanks for all your MySpace stuff. MySpace stuff. Please send more. And come see the show. But, but it is uh, very spiritual, in a way, to a lot of people. I mean, I think it's very much like Jesus Christ Superstar or Godspell and that kind of, you know, musical mm-hmm. venue where people actually, very individual, they get what yeah. they want out of it. Mm-hmm. There's a really cool journey that happens in the show, so. And anyone can take different things out of it. Stafford, when we were learning the show, he always said, like, someone sitting here will see a totally different show from someone sitting here. You, you kind of see what you want to see, and yeah. I think that's really cool about the show. Yeah. So you can get out of it what you want and what you need to. Okay. Sounds cool. Well, you guys are in for a long run here, that's yes. for sure. Yeah, yeah. so definitely. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for joining me. So, <laughs> see you next time on Stage Door Chicago. This episode of Stage Door Chicago has been made possible by Luminaire Film Productions of Chicago, Illinois.